Mayhem and High Tops here. So, I went with my brother and saw Assassin's Creed. This will contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen it and you're planning on seeing it, go watch it first. Continuing with the video now. So, um, I'm going to preface this by saying I have never played the video game. I've seen people play it. I understand what the game is basically supposed to be about. And then I'm going to preface this by saying I saw Prince of Persia Stands of Time the movie and I watched my brother play the game basically all the way through. I hated that movie. That movie had, it was missing a lot. It took a lot away from like playing the game or seeing somebody play the game. So I'm just going to put that out there that I went into this movie very skeptical because it's based after a video game. Now with that said, this movie was actually really good. I would not give it five stars, I would give it three and a half. And here is why. One, they left it off with a cliffhanger so that they can make more movies. Um, I felt like that was horrible because I didn't... From everything I read online about what they were doing with this movie, none of it ever led to the thing that this was going to be a series of movies. And I feel like that was very misleading because I went in, like, the last 10 minutes of the movie, I'm like, oh, there's probably more movie. Because I'm sitting in a movie theater, I don't know what time it is or how long this movie's supposed to be, right? I feel like... One, they're geniuses, because now I feel like I have to go see the other movies because I've seen the first part. Just gonna put that out there. Um, I feel like they were very mean, because now I feel like if the sequel or the third movie or the fourth movie or anything that comes after this one, if it doesn't live up or be better than the first movie, it's going to just flop as a series. A uh, good example of this is the Hunger Games series. I have had I have a few friends who went and saw every single movie in theaters and they said, "No, the second, the third, and well, the third part 1 and third part 2 do not live up to the first movie or the books." So there's that. Um thing so I get that the guy, like, it's supposed to be the government sending somebody back in time to get secrets and info. Like, I understand that's the plot of the base of the game, right? And you're sending them back inside their ancestors' bloodline. The way they did this in the movie was very awkward and weird, and I don't think they could have done it any better, but... I think they could have explained how it works better. Plus, if you are not good at reading subtitles and watching things at the same time, you're going to hate the Assassin Creed movie. I had a hard time with it because when they went back in time, they were speaking, I think it's Italian, and they were talking fast and the subtitles were moving fast and everything was balled up and I could not keep track of it when they were in the past. That's a problem with the movie, in my opinion. I hope they fix it for this next one because the machine they were sending using to send people into the past along their bloodlines is broke because the guy broke it because his past life took over his current body. See, there's a lot of plot holes and a lot of things that are hard to explain about this movie. And I didn't like it because of it. Um, I feel like Gate, this is one of the better movies based off of a video game. I feel like you didn't... So the thing with video games is there's a lot of options. And the part of the problem is when you go through and you 
make a movie out of video games, the person watching it is only watching one way to play the game, right? It's like watching somebody online play a video game and you're seeing their choices. That's probably the problem with movies based off of video games is you lose that choice that you have as a player. I feel like they did very good with this movie because it's not based off of any of the actual games. It's just based off of like the plot of the Assassin's Creed games, basically. So you get like a whole new set of characters. You've never seen these characters before. So that's where they did good. I didn't like the movie. That's really all I have to say about it is I did not like the movie. Yeah. I'm going to probably go see the other ones, but yeah. Anyways, Mayhem High popped out.